Here's a quick one. Uh, when I first got Guinevere, one of the things on the uh, survey list was to secure down the bilge pump. Uh, you know, I looked how to do this. You know, there was a board that was uh, screwed into the side, a uh, battery compartment here, and put down in, but it, it never did work right. It was, it was just out, awkward and out of the way. Uh, also, living aboard, I wanted to be able to remove and replace the pump when needed or clean it when needed. So what I came up with is I got a piece of PVC tubing uh, and I took a heat gun and I put some gentle bends in it so that it's, it's sort of like this. And then I used one of these thumb activated clamps that was the proper size for the, for the tubing. I took my bilge pump, put one of these on it, put a hose clamp to it with some uh, washers, put a piece of uh, rubber here to protect the hose, uh, protect the pump from the hose clamp uh, mounting screws, uh, flat screws, and uh, tightened it, not real tight, just enough. This will now fit on the on the PVC tube and I can tighten that down so that the bilge pump is now anywhere I want on here. I can loosen it a little bit and move it down so that it's down there. Now all I need to do is I hook up the outlet hose to this and then I can lower the whole unit down in. What I found also was using the float type switch on Guinevere and RC27, uh, my bilge is very deep, but it's also only, you know, like about so big. And what would happen was with the float type switch, it would pump the water out through the hose, but there was enough water left in the hose to cycle the pump again. So if I just left it like that, it would keep on cycling and cycling. That was bad. So I wound up with what I consider to be a far better uh, setup is I used another clamp. I used an electronic uh, sensing unit for a bilge pump. All I do is keep these contacts clean and it works great and I mounted it with a little uh, aluminum plate that I put on it, uh, adapter plate, so that I can go ahead and put this also on the unit, tighten it down, and this allows me to move this electronic switch up and down. Now the beauty of the electronic switch, and if you decide to go this route, is that after it detects that the water has gone below the switch itself, it still runs for 13 more seconds. That gives it time to pump out more water all the way down to the bottom of the bilge. So this doesn't have to go all the way down. And you can loosen that a little bit and adjust it up and down to wherever works for your bilge. The next thing is, hook this up, do the wiring, and then drop it back down there and it hooks right here to the thumb clamp down there and uh, works just perfectly. Easy to take out, easy to put back in. It took me longer to do this video than it did to take the old one out. Uh, the old one was shot so I just cut the wires. Now I'm going to rewire it with uh, heat shrink butt connectors and I'll be good to go again.